He has shown. The 27th December 2022 is a momentous and historic occasion for Anandashram as it marks the magnificent centenary of the sannyas of Pappa. On this blessed day a hundred years ago, in response to the inner calling, Vital Rao, as Papa was then known, renounced all that bound him to his mundane life, mundane world. And later adopted sannyas, took the new name, Ramdas. These steps heralded a new beginning in his spiritual journey. Traversing the length and breadth of India, beloved Papa was touched by the undeniable divine presence undeniable divine presence. During the eclectic encounters and unpredictable environments, this journey transformed him from a mere individual to an enlightened visionary and culminated in the founding of Ashram in 1931. His renunciation still serves as a constant reminder of the true meaning and purpose of life. His renunciation still serves as a constant reminder of the true meaning and purpose of life. It makes us introspect and gauge as to where we are now and where we are headed. It constantly and consistently inspires us to journey inward toward the eventual fruition of our lives. Therefore, during Birad Papa's centenary year, as motivated by him, the focus of programs was on an in-depth study of his first book, In Quest of God, with a different approach, how to bring in the God dimension at every turn of life. In Quest of God is a graphic narrative of the unique experiences Papa had during the first year of his itinerant life. This inspiring autobiographical account highlights his total reliance on God, his positive acceptance of all situations and the absence of otherness in his universal vision. These are the points, you know. For the past 10 days we have been trying to assimilate and absorb and make it a reality in our life. What are they? Total reliance on God, positive acceptance of all situations and absence of otherness. Spontaneity of life, born of an egoless purity and innocence, a consciousness of the indwelling and all-pervading reality and a constant effort to see him in all with an unconditional cheerful acceptance of all situations, treating it as, as ordained by Lord are the supreme notes and refrain of the voice that rings through the whole text. The text also calls our attention to the idea of bhakti and jnana. They are to be simultaneously developed. Although most of the incidents in the book lay stress on the impersonal aspect of the divine, adoration of this saguna aspect is also given its due importance. Jnana is the realization of the Atman, Nirguna Brahman. After attaining Jnana, Bhakta looks upon the whole universe as God himself, Saguna. The underlying message conveyed through in quest of God is that if we want to lead a peaceful life, under all circumstances, constant remembrance of him is a must. It is the master key to unlock the complexities of life. This becomes clear when, when we go through the first few lines of the first chapter and the last few lines of the last chapter. We have many a time repeated this, but again we need this hammering. The first few lines of the The first chapter portrays the picture of a person who was deeply stressed. Quote Papa's words, 
for nearly a year ramdas struggled on in a world full of cares anxieties pain it was a period of terrible stress and restlessness all of his own making in this utterly helpless condition full of misery where is relief where is rest this was the heart's cry of ramdas this is how the book begins our present stature the last few lines of the 37th chapter last chapter revealed the transformation that had taken place within him in the course of almost a year his life was totally surrendered to the divine ever at peace ever in bliss he says ramdas stays by ram's command in a cave called pajavandwa cave on the kadri hill and lives there a serene life devoting his whole time in talking about writing off meditating on that all loving and glorious ram see first chapter and 37th chapter from the stress to serenity every time he will put us on stress every time he will assure us that you you can become serene and what is to be done by us the three things reliance on god positive acceptance of all situation absence of otherness he has assured us if we try to practice this we will be definitely transcending the state of uh, stress to a state of serenity we don't have much time to go through the entire one so we have brought a small book called stress to serenity it has been translated into five or six languages every chapter <coughs> contains precious gems which will help us in our life journey when we were made to go through the 37 chapters papa made us to unearth these 198 points in no session we can go through the whole thing so that is the one which is given us prasad along with the eatable prasad you know this is the real prasad so that every not that there should be a chronological order any page you check there will be something for you to get yourself connected there will be an inner alignment 100% sure because it deals with the common run of life so 1 to 37 chapters it has been mentioned papa helped us to unearth those points but for the time being at the closing of our this program we thought it would be appropriate to go through the 24 important point all are important just like a first among the equals you know all are equal but still we say first among the equals so out of the 198 the 24 are considered as the first among equals so that we will just read it out slowly so that it will percolate into our mind it is there on the huh tv go to the source of all sources great void our nama and our activity should help us to go to source of all sources it should be in conformity with this 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 ideal we should be very important ideal the moment we go to the source say mic we are using it amplifies our sound immediately we remember how you brought this when there was no amplifier how you gave this wonderful thought to one of your creations and then made them to go through from the conceptual level to the actuality 
how you made him to and then the self he faced when this total we don't know the other the other reaches out to millions of people who are getting benefited but still the other is not known anything that we handle at home in the office with friends suppose we try to cultivate this subservience to a higher power a means to erase me and mine because we have been dealing with from our level you know everything from me and mine only how to get over this how to tame how to discipline how to make it humble only by remembering the great provider constant so for that we should develop constant dialogue with him so that we become aware of the power so that we become aware of the source whenever and we don't have to worry that we cannot set apart time we are fully engaged by one preoccupation or other whenever free from duties meditate and utter his name be the period ever so small and to con- consolidate to strengthen to concretize our efforts pe- resorting to periodical solitude and observing silence they aid in curbing the outgoing tendencies of the mind during a month during a during a fortnight during a week during a day nobody need know what our sadhana is our idea is not to publicize our sadhana but the outcome will be known by everybody you know the refinement takes place at the physical level psychological level spiritual level and prayer becomes most effective when it is self originated day for us we were talking about it no we have been repeating universal prayer we have been repeating adorable presence we have been repeating thy glory we have been repeating the day this day is gone we have been repeating pradasmarami we have been de- repeating brahmanandam it all contains sublime teaching and what happens to us after the chanting is over does it have any impact each one has to ask so that is why taking the guidance from it we chart out we draft out our own prayer in our own language and cultivate simple living habits each one can define what is simplicity it is not the common one each one can define and each one will be able to find out what is simplicity for him that is okay that which does not that which is not needed more than what we require that leads to this simplicity then tripod of sadhana some clues you know fixed resolve sustained faith optimistic outlook of these three optimistic outlook is more important that anything happen we try to develop an optimistic positive outlook we try we may fail hearing this we are we will not be successful as we said you know practice this these children have shown us in 15 20 days they have they have been able to do it practice 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 and depend exclusively on inner guidance because the, we have to train our mind so far it has been extrovert looking up to something for anything anything and everything but now we will try papa's core message is that and his life was an testimony then depend exclusively on inner guidance self imposed discipline ensure progress not what we read what we hear we try to impose because 
the other one you know one day or two day we will be able to do it because system will not cooperate mind will not cooperate so we try to follow our own dictates maintain equanimity trying to maintain no because papa will put us on test every now and then equanimity samatvam yoga muchate you know in second chapter he says samatvam yoga muchate equanimity is yoga in all circumstances we try to maintain this equilibrium throw ourselves entirely at his mercy with nothing to fall back fall back on accepting him it's a tall order for us agreed while while defining sanyas in one of the articles papa said it is like going up the tree and just falling without anything that means we are depending upon not on any external prop but purely on the indwelling and all pervading impersonal and personal reality the cosmic reality we try at the moment it is an ideal for us ideals are necessary you know imagination is necessary sankalpa is necessary everything has come from sankalpa only so we will develop this sankalpa accept every situation cheerfully treating it as ordained by god our very birth is ordained by him you know which we hardly recognize because the me and mind does not allow us to go back to our own source when i was lying as a seed in my mother's womb i was not consulted he did everything in the next 9 and 1/2 months how he provided me with 200 and odd organs well set well coordinated na i hardly remember that so develop a positive attitude real contentment is the outcome of a dedicated life we can watch ourselves contentment tripti purna tripti fullness as far as possible try to be in a spiritually conducive atmosphere that is why god has set up so many spiritual centers because the from the common run of life the common routine we need a break where only we can try to go within and evaluate practice everything you know it may not be possible at home so we try to periodically and then whenever we get an opportunity we try to share those things you know not the self centered one you know any any subject on the self but any subject on this reality on values on keep the when we witness to this it is it is it is, it can be treated as a as a diversion positive diversion constructive diversion but at the same time it is a lesson for us although our life and all its ingredients are transient it does not mean that they are insignificant in any sense dry philosophy should not belittle the importance of his creation the creation is transient no doubt about it when we are unable to recognize in ourselves god makes it possible for us to see in others in other objects and persons so they, they though they are transient it has got a relevance in our life when we say trip out of our life we always remember this trip out no the trip out that is bit if there are two it might fall so even a trip out of this you know it reminds us fixed resolve sustained faith optimistic outlook nothing is irrelevant nothing is unimportant nothing is insignificant Be- why you know not because somebody said because he has brought it out with some purpose
as far as possible we try to maintain this right from the tiniest to the grossest pray to the creator to help us remain steadfast in commitment to remember him prasadam mangiṭu paya mayo kurkana kurkana prasadam mangiṭu paya mayo ഇവരെല്ലാം ഗീതയ്ക്ക് വരുന്നുണ്ടോ ആ അടുത്തോടി വരും ഈ നാളെ ആവില്ലല്ലോ നമുക്ക് അടുത്തോടി വരുമ്പോൾ ഞാൻ കൊച്ചു സ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്യാം അവരുടെ അടുത്ത് വളരെ സന്തോഷം പ്രേ ടു ബിക്കമിങ് അവെയർ ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ഗ്രേസ് എനേബിൾസ് എസ് ടു ഡു സാധന പെർസിവിയറിങ്ങിലി നോയിങ് ദറ്റ് ഹീ ഈസ് ദി ആക്ടിവേറ്റിംഗ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾ ബിഹൈൻഡ് ആൾ ഇവൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിങ് സാധന normally we think we are doing bhajan ram naam this and that and we label it as sadhana you know, as if we are doing it but he is within us to know that we only we are doing it but accepting that we are trying to spend our time so to, today we are reminded by him even the very sadhana is made possible only because he is there within us is very important becoming aware of his grace enables us to do sadhana perseveringly knowing that he is the activating principle behind all individuals and events including sadhana then become aware of the personal impersonal saguna nirguna all have relevance in spirituality we will not look down upon any particular method if the method has come it is meant for somebody na if we try to recognize that behind everything there is a purpose then we will not belittle the important we may be practicing it we may not be practicing it but in both cases we know there are many 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 gurus and followers who are following different paths so we we don't belittle the importance steps in the spiritual journey you know this is very very important bhakti is the root that means devotion devotion to god is the root vairagya withdrawal from the outer to the inner is the trunk jnana is the flower feeling the presence of atman within parabhakti is the fruit feeling the whole universe including us pervaded by him only so these four steps the four points you know bhakti vairagya jnana parabhakti devotion withdrawal of the senses from the sense field and then becoming aware of the indwelling and all pervading reality and finally experiencing the presence in all we may not be able to remember all these but the whole thing can be condensed and in a capsule form we can put it in our pocket the zenith of spirituality so it's something like a coin we have put in our pocket one side is peace and serenity at the inner level always peace and serene absence of otherness or love at the outer level peace and serenity at the inner level absence of otherness love at the outer level if this much we can this out of 24 again we can uh, filter and bring it up but suppose we go through often we will be uh, surely traveling with papa 
will be surely traveling with in quest of god which stands for papa and it is probably for that reason that he wanted to connect this in depth study to the sanya centenary he made us to name it as sanya centenary swadhyaya centenary so let us all pray to him again and again. everybody will be given this book kindly uh, go through it and pray to papa to give us the light to see the contents you know it is there all right i have got the eyes but i should penetrate into this you know those words even the points you know 198 points during the next uh, 365 days if we try to concentrate upon these 198 points not in one go step by step we will start feeling his presence within and then gradually without may he who prompted us to take up this blesses with the awareness of his presence within us so that our life is fulfilled and also we will be instrumental in motivating and touching and kindling in others the same joy which we enjoy shatakoti pranams at the holy feet of param pooja papa mentally we catch hold of his feet again and again and again and again we pray to him that do for for the sake of us you underwent so many outward sufferings and then you showed by your very face that bliss also becomes expressive in such a embodied soul so give us that at least something of it and you kindly make us to reap the fullest benefit from this in depth study which you have motivated which you have facilitated us to unearth again and again and again we mentally prostrate shatakoti pranams at his holy feet om shri ram jay ram jay jay ram Ah. You would like one you you both of you should sing something now in line with this <laughs> that is the topic capping and from tomorrow onwards we are back to our usual routine flower offering will be done at us bajan hall everything will go on as usual and tonight till 12 o'clock we will have bhajan, uh, ram naam after the bhajan sandhya and after the usual aarati we will have ram naam here we will have the light lamp sorry lamp constantly to any uh, reminders that what we need is the enlightenment the inner light has to be has to be made aware of so we also have a lamp and then we do the pradakshina with uh, the holy and all powerful ram naam with a prayer to papa to reveal his presence within us to make us aware of his presence within us till 12 o'clock then we will hear the new year message and again then we start hmm? this should be very clear hari om जब मैं था तब हरी नहीं जब मैं था तब हरी नहीं जब मैं था हरी नहीं अब 
सब हरि है मैं प्रेम गली अति साखरी जा मैं दौन समाय Till the time I, the small I is there. Pravachan karo, pravachan karo. Huh? Pravachan. Swamiji, uh, during the satsang it was said uh, that sense of doership. Uh, till the time it is there, the identity is there, separate entity is there. The sense that I am doing, I am doing sadhana, I am not doing sadhana, I am helping others, I am singing bhajan, I am not singing bhajan. When the till the time this I identity or is there, he cannot be understood. To give a simile, it is like a wave and the sea. Till the time we see the wave, we don't see the sea. But the moment the understanding happens that wave and sea are one, there are not two, they don't have to merge into each other, it is one. Is there a sea or a wave? जब मैं था तब हरि नहीं जब मैं था तब हरि नहीं जब मैं था तब हरि नहीं अब हरि है मैं नहीं प्रेम गली अति साखरी जा मैं Dona Samai. The path of devotion is so narrow. Either Hari can be there or I can be there. If I am there, Hari is not. And when I am not there, only Hari is there. Jab Hari hai, main nahi. May Papa bless us all with this. Bas Hari, main nahi. This is God addressing us. Moku kaha Dhundere bande Main to tere Paas me Moku kaha Dhundere bande Main to tere Paas me Moku kaha Dhundere bande Moku kaha नातीरत में नामुरत में नातीरत में नामुरत में नातीरत में नामुरत में नातीरत में नामुरत में ना एकां निवास में ना एकां निवास में ना तीरथ में ना मूरत में ना एकांत निवास में ना मंदिर में ना मस्जिद में ना मंदिर में ना मस्जिद में ना काबे कैलाश में ना काबे कैलाश में मैं मूर्ति देखता हूँ मंदिर में मैं मंदिर जाता हूँ मैं काबा जाता हूँ मैं कैलाश जाता हूँ मैं एकांत करता हूँ सब जगह मैं आया तो हरि नहीं he is ever present everywhere he is all pervading because मैं जा रहा हूँ तो हमें नहीं मिलता है we are trying out looking for him outside Thinking I as a separate entity is going to find him. That's the reason we don't find him. Na tirath me, na murath me, na ekan nivas me, na mandir me, na masjid me, na kabe kailas me. What Papa's Mata Ji said today morning. We have put. Papa in a frame, we have put Mataji in a frame, we have separated them and we have put them in a frame. 
we are still there so we don't find them unless we lose ourselves muku kaha dhunde re bande main to tere paas mein muku kaha dhunde re bande muku kaha na main jap mein ना मैं तप में ना मैं जप में ना मैं तप में ना मैं भरत उपास में ना मैं भरत उपास में ना मैं क्रिया कर्म में रहता ना मैं क्रिया कर्म में रहता ना ही जो संन्यास में नाहीयोग संन्यास में मुको कहा ढूंढे रे बंदे मैं तो तेरे पास में मुको कहा वी रिमेंबर स्वामी जी वन शेयरिंग विथ अस देयर वर सम डिवोटीज हु आर डूइंग नामा चैंटिंग फॉर 30 40 इयर्स they asked papa why have they not it realized god it seems papa rep- replied till the time you are doing nama chanting you won't realize and we remember right in the first day when we are doing mantra rupena nam nam he asked all of us to realize that we are chanting the name of god who is sitting seated within us and who is making us chant we are not chanting he is making us chant so i think the same idea kabir das ji is giving here ना मैं जप में ना मैं तप में ना मैं जप में ना मैं तप में ना मैं भरत उपास में ना मैं भरत उपास में ना मैं क्रिया कर्म में रहता ना ही योग संन्यास में नाहीयोग संन्यास में मुको कहा ढूंढेर बंदे मैं तो तेरे पास में मुको कहा खोजी हुए तुरत मिल जाऊं खोजी हुए तुरत मिल जाऊं एक पल की तलाश में खोजी हुए तुरत मिल जाऊं खोजी हुए तुरत मिल जाऊं एक पल की तलाश में कहे कबीर सुनो भाई साधु कहे कबीर सुनो भाई साधु मैं तो हूँ विश्वास में मैं तो हूँ विश्वास में मुको कहा सो नियर ही इज विद इन द मोमेंट यू लुक फॉर हिम यू गेट हिम just like that it is not ages you just get him like this because we heard swami ji talk about trust the trust that he is that's all is needed faith is there as swami ji told in the morning we need the trust that right now right here and now in this moment he is with us is not we don't have to look for him just like this the moment you start the moment you lose the eye just like this you get him just like this because he's always there khoji hue turat mil jaao khoji hue turat mil jaao ek pal ke talash mein ek pal ke talash mein कहे कबीर सुनो भाई साधो कहे कबीर सुनो भाई साधो मैं तो हूँ विश्वास में मैं तो हूँ विश्वास में मुको कहा ढूंढे 
तेरे बंदे मैं तो तेरे पास में को कहा ढूंढे रे बंदे को कहा Viva 